G'day guys and gals, welcome to another game of Vids Vidya. Uh, in this one, we are going to be covering how to mod Skyrim in 2021. Um, this is a beginner's guide, this is aimed at the beginner, someone who has no modding experience whatsoever. So if you do have experience, check the link below, there will be a link to a short version of my videos, otherwise uh, if you're a beginner and you have no idea what to do, keep watching. I'll go through it step by step. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Nexus. Uh, go to the Nexus. That is www.nexusmods.com. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's also right here. Uh, once you're on the site, you're going to want to create an account. Don't worry, this is free. You just hit login. Come down to register here, click that. And then fill in your details and follow the prompts. I've already got an account, so I am going to sign in. And then after I've signed in, we will go from there. Okay, once you've created an account, you'll pretty much be faced with this screen or a similar screen. Uh, if not, you can always click this little symbol up here and it will direct you straight to here. So now, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get Vortex. Vortex is a mod managing tool that is very powerful and honestly, I don't see any reason these days why you wouldn't use it. Uh, if you want to see how mods are manually installed, I do have some how to manually install certain mods on my channel if you want to check those videos out. But Vortex makes things so simple and so easy, you'd really be doing yourself a disservice not to use it. So we're just going to click on that, Vortex. And now that we're here, uh, this is the home page. If requirements, uh, this program doesn't require anything to work. But as you can see, there is a bunch of stuff that requires Vortex to work. But we'll cover that stuff later. Okay, uh, this is the inf all the information as to what mod uh, as to what Vortex does. Give it a read. I always recommend reading this page. It has a lot of information. Uh, we're not going to go through that today for time's sake. But what you are going to do is go over to Files, click on that. The page will load and you're faced with two download options. This one is just uh, like a fast install. It will install Nexus to wherever it wants. That's no good for me and personally I wouldn't recommend it either. I'd recommend the custom installation location. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to get directed to this page. Now when you started your account you would have been asked if you want to create a free account or a premium account. If you created a free account, you hit this, slow download. If you created a premium account, hit that, fast download. I have a free account, so I'm just going to hit that, slow download. It'll start in about five seconds. A little thing will pop up here, and then the download will start. And there we have it. Vortex has been installed. Now you can hit open file, that'll jump straight to the file location if for whatever reason you've closed it or whatnot. If your computer's set up, set up standard, then it'll most likely have gone to your downloads folder here. To get to that, hit the little folder, come up here, hit downloads and it'll be in there. Me, I've changed the location and I've created a little shortcut right here. So Vortex custom installer, I'm just going to Cut that and put that into a folder all of its own. Vortex installer, paste. Now I've already got it right there, but I'll replace that for the sake of the video. Okay, and once you've located your installer, you're going to double click on it and start the installation process. If you're on a Windows 10, you'll probably get greeted with something like this. Um, this is what happens when a program is downloaded and trying to install that doesn't come from the Windows Store. Uh, this program is fine, 
just hit install anyway. I hit yes when prompted here. Now this is where it wants to install it. That is the C drive is where my um, operating system is installed and I don't like that hard drive sharing space with other programs regardless of what they are. So I'm just going to hit browse. I'm going to come down to this PC. I am going to go to D. I am going to create a new folder called Vortex. And I'm going to install it in there. Now the reason why I've installed it in here is for two reasons. One, it's where all my games are located, so it'll probably be an easier time for Vortex to find everything and manage everything. And two, this is my SSD, so it'll be a lot faster when installing programs, checking things, all that sort of stuff. So now I'm just going to hit install. And that's it, we're done. The installation process is finished. We're going to hit finish and run Vortex. Now at this point, if you want, you can get rid of the installation folder. Me, I like to keep them just in case, for whatever reason, I need to uninstall Vortex. I've already got it there, ready to go. But um, yeah, here we are. So this is what you'll be greeted with. Now, it should automatically read, uh, link into your Vortex page if you're signed in online. If not, it'll have a sign in button. You'll click that. It'll say sign in online, redirect you to here. You'll sign in and you'll link the account. But say, for instance, it hasn't signed in. You'll be greeted with something like this. You're going to go over to the little man bubble person icon here. Click on that. Log in on website, go to the website, log in, hit log in. You'll be greeted with this. You'll authorize it. So what that's doing is it's telling the Nexus website that this is linked to your computer and it just links the accounts. Okay, and with that, you're done, it's all installed, it's set up. We're just going to close this for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link some games and get some, get the get ne a Vortex managing some games for us. So to do that, you'll come over, you'll click games. Uh, at first, it might not auto detect any particular game. So what you're going to do is come down here and hit scan for games. You'll hit that. You'll tell it where your games are located. If they're located over multiple drives, hit add search path, and then you can change which uh, hard drives it looks at or to check multiple hard drives. Me, all my games are installed on that, so that's the only one I need it to scan. Then you'd hit scan, scan finished, dismiss that message. We're going to come down and the games that are scanned that we have installed are highlighted. There's uh, there's the Witch, uh, sorry, there's Skyrim Special Edition. There's my other two Witcher games. And yeah, so we're going to do this one. Tell it to manage it. And here straight up, it has scanned, it has auto-detected that there are some certain programs in there that you need that aren't installed. So the first one we're going to cover will be da, 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 download Skyrim script extender. Not installed. We're going to hit more. Now this is a very important one. You want this one for modding. In general, a lot of mods require this particular mod. So we're just going to hit more. You'll be greeted with this. At this point, you can tell it to ignore. But if you do that, it's not going to um, download it for you. You'd hit that if you're going to install it manually. 
Uh, but for this, all you have to do is hit open in Vortex. Uh, there's the website that it's going to direct you to. You're going to hit continue. It'll take you directly to where it is. And we're ready to download SKSE. Now we're dealing with Skyrim Special Edition. So this is the one that we want. That one is normal Skyrim. So if you're following this tutorial and you have not the old Skyrim or old Rim, you want to install this one by hitting uh, that the 7-zip archive. But we're using Skyrim Special Edition. So we want this one. If you're using Skyrim VR, then you'd want that one. So Skyrim Special Edition, we're going to hit that. And then bam, just like that, it's installing, it's deployed, mod has been installed. Uh, so we, uh, deployment necessary, sorry. So we're going to deploy that mod. If we just pop over here to mods, we can see there it is, it's been installed. We're going to deploy it now. And done, SKSE has been installed. Next, we're going to look at uh, we're going to loose files may not get loaded. We're going to fix that issue by just clicking fix. That's done. We're going to install fins now by clicking more. Gives us a link to the website. We're going to click that. It's going to redirect us here to the Nexus mod website. And here it is. Finis, force new idols in Skyrim special edition. Now, a lot of mods will require this. What this mod does is it helps pretty much any, cut, any mods with custom animations. So if you want to learn more about it, again, I always recommend reading the front page here. It tells you everything you need to know. They, most mod authors will include plenty of information. Uh, but me, I know we're going to require it. So I'm going to go over to Files. I'm going to come down to... Uh, Fins behavior SE 7 6, and I'm just going to hit download with manager. Hit slow, it'll start in about five seconds. And unlike before, it's not going to happen up here, and we're not going to have to do the whole manual install or anything like that. As you can see in the background here, something started happening. Bang, Fins is there. You get prompted here, so you can install it from here. Or you can go to mods, hit the never installed, it will install it uh, where it has disabled. Hit that, or you can hit it over here where it says enable. And then, bam, that's done. Oh, nearly done. So, setup for fins is pretty simple. Unless you're going to be using one of these other things, all you really need to do is hit that one. Uh, and the skeleton arm fix. Click those two. Update fins behavior. It'll run through. Check for any animations. None. We'll just update once more. And we're going to exit. Create a shortcut on your desktop. No. Because we're not going to utilize this outside of Vortex. Check again. We'll go through. Yep. Okay. So failed to run fins. That's an old one. We can dismiss that. More. Close. Dismiss that. Okay. And we're done. Now we're just going to close Vortex down and make sure we completely close it down. It's not down here or anything. Yep. We can close this now. And now we're just going to reopen it. Now I like to do this because it will rescan everything and all that and I'll get alerts up here if anything isn't right. If something hasn't been installed correctly or anything like that. And we're all good. We've got fins, we've got Skyrim Script Extender, which is where the game will be launched from from now on. So you can launch it from here by clicking Run. Alternatively, 
and probably what I'd recommend because you don't want to be going into Vortex every time you want to play the game. What I would recommend is going to where your game is. For me, it's in D Drive. Steam Library. So your location will change, but after this point, when you find Steam Library, it will be identical. So you want to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and this is where all your games will be. For us, we want Skyrim Special Edition, which is right here. And this is your main folder. What we want to do now is create a shortcut for this one here, skse64 underscore loader dot exe. We're going to right click on that. We're going to come down to send to. And we're going to send this to the desktop via creating a shortcut. So click that. There it is there. It's just popped up there. We can close that. So from now on, whenever we want to run the game, we click on SKSE 64 Loader. And now I'm going to do that now. We're going to go in game and we're going to check to make sure SKSE 64 has been loaded up correctly. Okay, and here we are in game. So to check that SKSE 64 is working correctly, what we're going to do is hit the tilde key that is left of the one key but above the tab key on your keyboard so you'll just give that a hit you'll bring up the um, control menu and we're just going to type in get skse six uh sorry get skse version and then hit enter okay so we've gotten back SKSE 64 version 2.0.19, blah, blah, blah. So that lets us know that it's been installed and working correctly. If you don't get a reply similar to this, depending on when you're doing it, your version number may change and the runtime may be different. But as long as you get some sort of message like this, you know it's been installed properly and working correctly. Okay, and with that, we'll uh, head back to the desktop. Okay, and with that, you're done. You're ready to start installing mods. But before I go, I will quickly show you this one, which you'll find on your dashboard. Let's get set up. So a lot of things, you'll have an introduction video, uh, profile management, which we covered, how to search for it. So yes, that's done. You can turn it off, no, but you want it to manage the profiles, otherwise all this is kind of pointless. Fins integration, yes, is done, so we can actually close them down. Import from Nexus Mod Manager. That will be covered in the next video when we install our first few mods. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, mod the games you want to mod the way that you want to mod them, but don't forget to have fun. Bye!